Ladies and gentlemen, pray silence for one of our greatest poets, Mr. Siegfried Sassoon. <clears throat> when I'm among a blaze of lights, with tawdry music and cigars, and women dawdling through delights, and officers in cocktail bars. Sometimes I think of garden nights, and elm trees nodding at the stars. I dream of a small fire lit room, yellow candles burning straight, and glowing pictures in the gloom, and kindly books that hold me late. Of things like these, I choose to think when I can never be alone. And then someone says, another drink? And turns my living heart to stone. <laughs> Give me your hand, my brother. Search my face. Look in these eyes, lest I should think of shame. For we have made an end of all things base. We are returning by the road we came. Your lot is with the ghosts of soldiers dead. And I am in the field where men must fight. But in the gloom I see your laurel dead, And through your victory I shall win the light. Telephone me in a couple of days, won't you? practically had to force my way in past the stage doorman. Oh, you were lucky. He's been told to shoot anyone not on my list. Why wasn't I on the list? For Christ's sake! Look, it's been a long run, Siegfried. I am tired. I am exhausted. You still want supper? Yes! Surprised to see Fenton here. Why? I know lots of people. Fenton is just another... Admirer. Fan. Both seem to me to be very friendly after so short an acquaintance. You know, I get the distinct impression that I'm being grilled and that a storm in an egg cup is brewing. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be petty, but I... I am very jealous of you. Yes, well... Affairs are always messy. Who can know the secrets of a human heart? Usually the people who don't have one. Oh, my, my, hasn't it gone chilly in here? But I love you. <laughs> yes. You've said. Are you still very angry? What do you expect? You ended our relationship with a letter from your doctor. How was I supposed to feel? I'm still clearly very hurt, I see. I had hoped that you might have been a little more forgiving. 
If I had treated you the way in which you treated me, how forgiving would you be? Besides, when the parade's gone by, you have to have enough sense to realize that you are no longer a part of it. I'm trying to apologize. You're 30 years too late. Can't we still be friends? No. You once meant so much. Now you mean so little. See, Don't but... trivialize it by saying something glib. Can I see you again in London, perhaps? No. I rarely go to London. How's George? Young. Thriving. He's like all children. He has the worst aspects of both his parents. How about his parents' virtues? He's cursed with those as well. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our greatest poets. <clears throat> Name? Soon Siegfried. Rank? Second Lieutenant. Disease? I've had some sort of breakdown. Your lot is with the ghosts of soldiers dead, and I am in the field where men must fight. Your duty lies in obeying orders. In the face of such slaughter, one cannot simply order one's conscience. Good morning, Doctor. We have a house magazine. I'm sure it would welcome a contribution. And I'll try to write something light and amusing. There's no need to go that far. Who is this extremely beautiful young man? Sassoon, Siegfried. Sounds Wagnerian. I'm anxious to meet our distinguished guest. All the fine young cannibals. What should I do about my hair? Have you considered topiary? It's one of the inconveniences of the shadow life we lead. Friends may come. Friends may go. Enemies are always faithful. Life goes slowly on. Trying to understand the enigma of other people. You're going to marry her? If the intention wasn't pure, I don't think I could go through with it. Purity is like virginity. As soon as you touch it, it becomes corrupt. Too afraid. Too inhibited. You are not alone. My whole future could depend on you. In my life, I feel as though I've been waiting for a catastrophe to happen. Most people live for the moment. You live for eternity.